first of all thanks for being part of this video in this video we are going to see percentages topic of class 4 we have completed three classes before if you are not watched those classes first please go through that classes and watch this video first one here uh, the question given is the population of a town is increased by six two third percentage every year if the present population is double three seven five zero then after two years how much it will be so every year the percentage increased is six two third six two third is nothing but six point six six percentage six 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 point six six percentage is nothing but one by fifteen fraction and it is said that increases so increases means we have the fraction sixteen by fifteen okay this is our fraction and the present population is double three seven five zero we need to find the population after two years so for two years first it will be 15 then it is increased to 16 in the second year first will be 15 increase it to 16 so the value will be so here we get 15 2 times is 30 37 means 15 2 times is 30 we get 75 15 5 times and 0 15 15 times and 0 150 into 16 into 16 so 150 into 16 16 times will be 256 15 6 times will be 90 15 5 times will be 75 so 84 15 2 times is 30 38 384 double zero is our answer for this question now we are going to see one more question population of a town was 150000 3 years ago 3 years back the population is this one if it is increased by 2% 2.5% and 4% respectively in the last 3 years then find the present population First three years back we have one lakh fifty thousand. Now this is hundred percent. First year it is increased to two percentage. In second year it is increased to one zero two point five percentage. In the third year it is increased to four percentage. Now we need to find the answer for this one. The okay so four zeros four zeros are cancelled now left with the 15 here we have instead of 102.5 we write 1025 divided by 10 okay this will be 125 four times will be 100 and 25 one time will be 25 25 40 times 5 3 times 5 8 times 4 2 times 4 uh, 1 time will be 4 2 times and uh, we get 24 means uh, 4 6 times uh, 2 13 times so what we left is 102 into 41 into here it is 3 also here here 13 so we have 306 into 41 into 13 13 uh, first we multiply with 41 uh, 1 times will be 306 so 4 times 2 4 and 4 3 times will be 12 we get a 6 4 5 2 1 into 13 so totally 13 6 times will be 78 13 4 times 52 and 59 13 5 times 65 65 plus 5 70 13 2 times will be 26 26 plus 7 33 13 1 times 13 and 3 16 1 6 3 0 9 8 is our answer option a so let's see 
up to now we have seen about increased all the years all years the percentage is increasing in this question and in this question also now we are going to see the questions with the decreasing of population annual decrease in the population of your town is four percentage so annually it is decreasing into four percentage and the present number of people is six two five double zero what will be the population in two years will be means after two years so at present population is six two five double zero every year it is decreasing by four percentage so first we have hundred percentage now it is becoming decrease of four percent means 96 in the second year also initially 100 now it is decreasing to 96 we need to find the answer for this one double zeros cancel 25 25 times 25 4 times 4 24 times here it is also 24 4 times so we get 24 24 times will be 576 25 into 4 times will be 100 so 57600 is our answer 576 option a is our answer now we are going to see one more question which contains both increase and decrease also let's see the question during one year the population of your locality increases by 20 percentage but the next year it decreases by 15 percentage if the population at the end of the second year is 17340 find the population at the beginning of the first year so what is asking is nothing but initially we don't know how many people are here in the first year it is increased to 20 percentage so 120 divided by 100 in the second year it is decreased by 15 percentage so it means initially it is 100 now it is decreased to 85 85 so at the end of second year at the end of second year there was 17340 so it will equals to 17340 by this we can calculate x value x is nothing but the first year the population at the first year beginning of the first year let's see how to find the answers 17 5 times 17 1 time 0 times 2 times 0 5 2 times 0 4 times here 1 0 1 0 cancel 12 1 times is 12 84 12 7 times so totally we left with x equals to 17 into triple zero 17 triple zero answer will be 17 triple zero option a this is how we do populations in a town so this is how we do problems of population of your town increases or decreases in percentages okay now we are going to see the questions related to examinations passes and fails let's see the question here is the question in an examination a student gets 20 percent of marks but he fails by 5 marks so to pass how much marks he needed he got 20 percent of marks he got 20 percent of marks and if he got five more marks he will be pass okay this is one condition another student who scores 30 percent of marks gets 20 marks more than the pass marks so and the person got 30 percent and to the pass marks he gets 20 marks more so what will pass marks will be to this one is 30 percent minus 20 so equating these two we get 20 percent plus 5 equals to 
30 percent minus 20 so we have th this 20 comes this side with the 10 okay 30 minus 20 will be 10 so 10 percent value will be 20 comes this side with the 25 we have 25 10 percent is value is 25 means total 100 percent value is 250 so total marks will be 250 what we need is uh, find the necessary percentage required for passing so to pass how much marks we need 20 percent of the total plus 5 we have 10 percent value is 25 so 20 percent means into 2 which will be 50 marks plus 5 so totally 55 percentage sorry 55 marks is needed to pass but we need to calculate percentage required for passing we need to find the percentage uh, this is we got 55 marks out of 250 into 100 this is the what we need to find here uh, 25 10 times 25 4 times 5 11 times 5 2 times 2 2 times we get 22 as our answer so answer will be option c 22 let's see one more question related to these this type of questions now we have this question a candidate scores 35 percent and fails by 40 marks okay first we write this one 35% of marks he got 35% of marks and fails by 40% so if he got 35% marks plus 40 marks then he will pass okay while another candidate who scores 60% of marks gets 35 more marks uh, another person got 60% marks if he got 60% marks minus 35 marks then he will be the same as pass marks what i mean to say here is i am equating both here it is pass marks and here it is also the pass marks in this case he got a 60 percent and got 35 more marks than pass marks if we if we subtract 35 marks then he reaches to pass marks this is why we are subtracting here so we have uh, 35 comes this side with minus we have 25 percentage value will be this comes this side with 75 so 25 percent value is 75 then what we need to find is find the maximum marks for the examination he is asking about 100 percent so 25 3 times so 100 percent value will be 100 3 times will be 300 so total marks will be 300 option a is our answer let's see one more question and final question a student has to secure 30 percent marks to pass okay every student needs 30 percent marks to pass okay if he gets 40 marks and fails by 20 marks so how much marks he got 40 marks he got and fails by 20 marks if he got 20 more marks then he will pass okay so total pass marks will be 60 so 60 marks will be the pass mark which is nothing but 30 percentage now what we need to find is find the maximum marks set for the examination asked for 100 percent if we have 30 percent marks will be 60 then what will be 100 percent marks 30 2 times 100 2 times will be 200 so paper is set for 200 marks option b is our answer by this question we have completed most of the topics in percentages so let's see if there is any remaining i'll present them in the next classes 
by this we have completed for today i uh, we have covered utmost topics in this uh, percentages if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe and watch the previous classes also to go get clear understanding of the concept percentages thanks for watching